what is happening youtube welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be covering how to master leo's corner pressure uh that's going to consist of dust setups uh, 50 50s and some safe options that you could choose from uh but before we get into today's video i just want to say you know thank you to all the support that i've been getting on the channel lately it really means a lot uh, if y'all have any video ideas or stuff y'all struggling with, just leave it down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Without further ado, let's get into these videos. Okay, so let's get into it. First, we're going to start off with the 50 50 dust setup. So I'm not going to spend too much time on each subject because I got like five things I want to show you. Uh, and most of this stuff is just fairly simple, it's just the matter of knowing. Uh, the idea behind the 50 50 dust setup is pretty much you, after the 2D, you put them in the OTG state. If you don't know what OTG means, it's basically off the ground or on the ground. Either way, you want to say it. Uh, but basically, you hit them in the OTG state and you throw out a headbutt. Now, if you do the dust immediately after the, uh, the headbutt, it's going to whiff because it comes out too fast. So, what you got to do is you got to delay it a second. That way, you hit them on the first frame possible when they restand uh but what you want to do before throwing out the dust move you want to condition them and what i mean is you want to get them to block low so you want to <laughs> pretty much once they start blocking low that's what you that's how i get them hit hit people with the dust setup lately i just been conditioning them to block low and so as i see them block low i will go in for the dust so that's pretty much the idea behind the 50 50 dust setup it's very simple uh let's move on um so let's move on to his uh heavy projectile i don't know if y'all remember you know if you watched the video or not but i released a video uh explaining how to loop, grab somebody in the corner with with leo and I know you see me doing it in my videos a lot, uh, but basically that was the to enhance your strike throw mix up. And that's what the heavy projectile do. It kind of serves the same function, uh, except is useful because you could possibly get a dust out of it. If you continue to uh, condition a person to block low. So basically use one of the three ways to uh, put them in the uh, OTG state. And you can either go for a dust Another low. So basically, you could do something like that uh, using a heavy projectile if they they're blocking high or, or low. Also, you can just not do a high or low. You can just run up and, and grab. And this is what I was talking about. People can't guess whether you're gonna grab or do a low because you gotta hold down. If you hold it down, you can't grab. If you hold it forward, you can't block low. So they have that's that's a 50 50. They have to guess whether you're gonna go in for a grab or you're gonna go in for a low. Uh and they can't jump out of it because they still in, in hit stun. So that's that's another how you want to use the heavy projectile, basically just to mix your opponent up. Um when you do it off the Brian Hilder stance, you actually got more knockdown time. So you're actually able to link these two without like it being a gap there for somebody to poke or DP. So if you if you land the Brian Hilder stance and you want to go and you have a projectile, it's probably better if you do it in Brian Hilder stance. Uh, or you use your turbulence. It's probably better if you do it off the turbulence because you'll have more ill, Ill link better than it would if you do off 2D in the grab. Uh, even though, you know, I got the opponent set to uh, throw out 5P, it hits. Uh, even though I set the person to uh, hit off of 5P, you can see that no matter what option you choose, as long as they don't have a DP or meter, uh, they won't be able to attack you. So they need some type of reversal to uh, get out of this pressure. But that's a good thing. Yeah, so one of those mix ups that just take that just wipe the whole, you know, enemy's health bar away. All right, so let's move on. Basically, his point guard off the OTG, you could basically, if you pressure the opponent enough, they're going to try to do a wake up option. That's where you could start using your, uh, your defensive stance and kind of like throw them off a little bit. Uh, 
and that's just you know one setup that's another setup you can use the heavy projectile for so that's very simple so we're gonna move on to all right, so next we're gonna talk about his 5S and how to keep yourself safe in the corner. So pretty much if you you know put your person in an OTG state and you get them there, you you wanna just sit there, step back a little, and use the move at max distance. And the reason why this is effective is because his 5S and stance doesn't have a hurt box. So you could throw out a move and keep yourself safe from people's uh, wake up options like just to show you, I'm gonna set Kai to do his DP. And you pretty much could just, you know, get a free punish, whether they choose to do a DP or you could keep your corner pressure if they choose to block it. Yeah, so that's really useful. So it is a setup that I use with this. So if, if you see them do a DP and you move with, you can automatically go into your uh, your turbo for a punish, and for whatever reason, when you do the your, uh, special from that spot, uh, it doesn't break the wall, <laughs> and you could get you could pretty much get a cool combo off of it too. So um, let me show you. Yeah, look at that damage. So uh, you get all that just you know getting max punish you know um, max punish damage for them doing their dp on your uh safe 5s so yeah that, that i don't know why it doesn't break the wall i don't know why you could combo afterward because usually when you damage somebody a lot like that it builds up towards them breaking the wall off of like the smallest hit in the corner so yeah that's that's really useful uh to know uh it is another thing uh, the safe 5s is good against some specials so i'm gonna just i'm gonna just quickly roll some clips just to show you what special it could beat that way you don't have to go out and test it yourself i'm just gonna pretty much save you the time and show you all the uh i'm gonna show you all the character specials that the safe 5s could beat so i'm about to uh just show you some examples All right, so let's talk about frame trapping with his overhead and his special. So uh, I know you see my videos where I'll go into like this and then this and then immediately go into overhead. I don't hit confirm that. So what I do is if the, if it hits, I do it. I do the special. If it if it blocks, I do the special. So I'm not really guessing. I'm just doing it. <laughs> and whatever happens, happens. But his special is plus 24. So you could go for a, a mix up like that after doing your special. Uh, or if they just block, if you're just doing the overhead and they block it, you go for the low in the corner. So those are ways you could frame trap using the overhead and the special. Uh, just something you want to add to the overall mix of your game plan. After you doing all your corner mixes, sometimes it's just best to do nothing. Uh, 
it's good out the bait out if to see if someone's going to jump or not or somebody going to wake up throw you could just hold on. you could just see if they grab or not yeah so doing nothing is very viable not only that you could you could hit them off the otg and see if they jump <laughs> if they that type of person to jump and you could jump after them so you give yourself enough time to react you just jump up and grab them or let's say you hit them off the otg and they wake up uh special so you see they wake up special or during the cutscene, you can just do your special so so the last thing i just want to leave you with sometimes it's better just to bait something out and see what they do and you can punish them accordingly uh safely so you just basically let them get up for free if they do wake up buttons or they do a dp you could get the punish if they jump away you could get a punish if they do a special on wake up you get a punish so that's all i wanted to leave you with for the last uh tip uh i hope y'all learned something today in this, today's video yeah man so that's the end of the video i hope y'all enjoyed this let me know what y'all thought about it in the comments uh you know if right just let me know like what you thought about the overall tips i shared today you think they're useless you think they're helpful um uh, feedback is good you know it helps me determine you know what y'all looking for uh with that being said uh hit that subscribe button if you want to stay tuned uh hit that like button just to show some love and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video peace Bobby.